my mouth hurts so bad. And I'm trying so hard to tell you just a story about my life. That's the show. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by Olympic figure skater Adam Rippon. He's the breakout star of the 2018 Winter Games, a bronze medal winner who stole the hearts of millions on the ice and off, and you can catch him in the 2018 Stars on Ice Tour coming to a city near you. Adam, welcome to the show. Sean, thanks for having me. So you've been doing round-the-clock press. I can only imagine that you just want to go home and take a nap. What's going through your head now that you've pulled up a seat at this circus? Sean, I won the hearts of millions, and now I'm ready to just shit my brains. I feel like pretty good with everything, and then the ones with like the explosives are where I'm worried. And then, whoa, oh. Reverse? This, oh, like this. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, yeah. Oh, this is actually delicious. Okay, I'm a little worried. Because I can taste like pepper. So there's so much about the games that we don't get to see. So if you'll humor me, I'm curious about your experience off the ice. Can I talk with my mouth full? <laughs> yeah, you get a long leash here on Hot Ones. Okay. Which country do you think got the best fit off during the opening ceremonies? Mm. Sean, you know the answer. <laughs> it's a guy from Tonga. He was hot as shit. It's like Sub-Zero and you're going there greased up. Listen, I've done that before. It's not pretty. I'm gonna die here. Uh, somebody in their first Olympics with a spotlight on you, what's the pressure to perform like? Does it feel that much heavier than the other major events in your career? You know, the Olympics is such a funny event. You walk in and it's just like every other arena you've ever competed in. The part that you don't ever get prepared for is all of the media. And uh, for me, that meant going into the media, just saying what was on my mind, being a little trashy, having a little fun. Sean, you'd know me well enough, now you know I like a little fun. Very happy to have you in the seat. I feel comfortable in this seat. It's a nice seat. We actually just upgraded the chairs too. Yeah, I can tell. This is a nice leatherette. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that I was heading into some jumps and I was like, if I fuck this up, Leslie Jones is gonna be like blasting my ass on Twitter. She didn't though, because I didn't mess it up. Yum. Some of these are delish. I love this one. Louisiana? Mm hmm. And the Bronx is so good. Hey, we'll stack them up. We'll put them in your bag, Adam. Mm. Look at that in the bag. But I want to talk about the Adam Rippon effect in the media because it was crazy to see in real time from where I sit. I could only imagine what it was like from your perspective. And in particular, I noticed it's your finger snapping swagger. It's like chum in the water for a lot of these bloggers that want to make internet friendly news pieces. So what I want to do is read four headlines about you. And I want you to tell me which one wasn't written okay. by a major media organization, okay? Okay. Nine amazing Adam Rippon quotes that'll make you go, yas. Adam Rippon says he's a hot mess. Why Adam Rippon is the woke bay we don't deserve. And Olympic Glamazon, Adam Rippon says haters are his motivators. <laughs> My dad must be so proud. I'm gonna say, why is Adam Rippon the woke bay we don't deserve? Ding, 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 ding. I know my Nailed quotes. it, I nailed know it. You know your headlines. Yes, I do. I'm the meme we've been looking for. <laughs> the meme we don't deserve. The meme that makes us say, Yas. Yes. <laughs> mm. This is good. I'm afraid of the one that's um, red. I think that's still in the like not top three territory. But it flirts with Don't chaos. we all? I flirted with chaos. <laughs> mm -hmm. On Tinder.
You know, the Olympic Village has this reputation for being this sex-fueled Mardi Gras, and I wonder, mm -hmm. what were your expectations of it going into it, and then what's the reality of the situation? Expectations, condom, brothel. Reality, not. A little more tame than you were expecting. Yeah, I was expecting hot box orgy, and what I got was stress box diarrhea. And then there's that great story about you eating in and out on the roof with Mira Nagasu, lamenting the fact that you didn't make the Olympics four and a half years ago. If you were eating a double-double now with the same magical impact on your life, mm -hmm. where do you think you'll be four and a half years from now? All I have to say is those in and out meats, those are magic meats. So basically, if you are depressed, eat a burger and four years later you'll go to the Olympics. What's your mentality? Do you just take one bite and you're like, I did the thing? So at this point, I don't feel like I have a ton to prove, but I'll kind of mirror. That's debatable. I'll mirror the guest. Mm. You know what I mean? So the more hammer the guest is going on the wings, the more hammer I'll go on the wings. Okay. If the guest is kind of just putting their feet in the shallow end, then I'll just put my feet in the shallow end, All you right. know? Mm -hmm. So wherever you go, I'll go, Adam. Okay. You drive. All right. I've been driving. All right, Adam, well, we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Gram, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. Okay. So I'll bust out the laptop, I'll show you the picture, and you tell me the bigger story. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is hotter than I thought it was originally. Yeah. All right, first things first. Uh, they used to call me Barry Bonds. Little League throwback. Mm-hmm. I used to be a baseball player. Here's the thing. I wasn't good. No and I wasn't great. I was actually terrible. So I actually, this is what, that was a hot one. Get it? Uh, I'm getting worried. Um, and then one time I went up to bat, as they say, that's our lingo, and I got hit by the pitch. I started crying. And they're like, take a base. If you get hit by a pitch, you take a base. And I was like, <sighs> nice. Yeah, so then I got in trouble with my parents because I'd go up to bat and I'd be like, Ugh, and get hit by the pitches all the time. So the moral of that story. You got to do what you got to do to help the team win. Thank you. You took the words right out of my mouth. There you go, Adam. This is pre-Oscars with Jeremy Scott. Yes. So I love me some Jeremy Scott because I think Jeremy Scott is a genius and he's crazy and his ideas are bizarre and wild and I'm crazy, bizarre, and wild. And match. some people have called me a genius. Like, I don't agree. Like, I do a little. Like, I understand, but... And when Jeremy took the classic tuxedo and he took the shoulders out and we added that harness to it where it felt like you were kind of strapped into the tuxedo, I just felt really fucking cool. And when we were first doing it, Jeremy's like, don't wear a shirt. And I was like, you're right. I shouldn't do that. And then the whole team around me was like, <laughs> Adam, you're gonna wear a shirt. And I was like, oh yeah. You're right, it's the Oscars. So it could have been even more. You could have just pushed it even more almost. So if it were up to you. If it were up, if to, it were you. up to me, I would always push it more. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh, that hurts my throat. Mm -hmm. Still going in though. Mm -hmm. I came here hungry. I'm gonna leave here, sick. So one of the things that separates figure skating from everything else is the soundtrack. How important is the music to the routine? The music is so important. A lot of um, high level skaters work with a DJ to like customize these tracks. So a lot of times, even if it's a song that sounds familiar, it's a completely like remastered track specifically for that skater and specifically for the way the elements are set in the program. So you feel like, wow, this is really like a performance made for that. And it's because it is. What's the most played out song to skate to? Recently been allowed to skate to lyrics in the last four years. Which opens up the catalog. Oh, fully. So you can skate to literally whatever you want. I could honestly, if I wanted to, skate to the audio of this interview 
if so, I wanted to. Listen, maybe I'm asking the wrong person. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. But how is it that, yeah, a figure skater can pull a song and then they can play whatever song and then broadcast it on TV all over the globe. But then on Hot Ones, I can't sing along to a T-Pain track and clear it. How do you sound when you sing the T Pain? I was track? doing uh, somebody go might... hard. I was doing go hard with T Pain, and then we were, and then we cut up the episode, and then we tried to put it out, and then like legal was like, "Whoa, we can't clear this." Really? Yeah, I'm like getting bleeped and stuff. That's don't. They 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 take my voice and they hide it from the world, Adam. That's not fair. People tried to do that to me too once, and I said, "Uh uh-uh. uh, not anymore." I won't get scared until I get to the next one. But this is the one that scares me because it's red. Going in. This is hot, but it's really enjoyable. All right, Adam, like you, I once had Olympic dreams. I made some noise in juniors, but due to an Achilles injury, I had to hang up the skates. But in honor of your appearance here, me and Chris, we went over to that rink in Central Park and put together a Hot Ones free skate for you. So I'm gonna play you the footage that we pulled. Basically, you can just score it like you would as a judge. You can let me know if I still got it. Okay. So here's me hitting it. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is great. Wow. You look like you have a lot of support. Emotional, though. Mm. And, oh. Oh, nice for, that's beautiful. Oh. You are very into the upper body. Do the judges like stuff like that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, as a judge in this situation, I really enjoyed it. Right there is when you see the Achilles injury really come through. And then, you know, I think that there's three major parts to rounding out your skating persona. You know, right. there's the Mind, costume. <laughs> body, and soul. Those three things, but on the costume side, right. would a full-on sriracha bottle onesie be too much? I almost say too little. Why didn't you do that? Why are you looking back now and being like, I fucked up? Well, I'm just laying the groundwork. You know okay. what I mean? I'm, you're, you're I'm looking you're forward building. to Beijing, basically. Okay. I, I didn't want to say it. I'm glad you did. What song do you think I should skate to? Probably the T-Pain song that you weren't allowed to hear on the show. And then what about this signature move? Because I was thinking about going with this bottle sauce shake move, but yeah. I don't want anything to get lost in translation. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, see, that was lost on me. That's not originally where my head had gone. Um, I appreciated the intent. Um. Don't do that. Yeah, now I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> now I'm scared. Be. I don't know why I said it. I heard myself say that. Oh, somebody got really nervous when I did that. Hey, this one's not bad. Wait, mm-mm. Are you putting up a front, Adam, or is this like for real, you're just no problem? It's like warm. Oh my God. You're a sissy. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot True. of times in competition where you feel like shit, but I always put on this calm and cool front. And I'm doing that right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to talk because like the wind from my voice is like making my body hurt right now. Well, speaking of, you recently set the record straight on an internet rumor that you had butt pads during competition tweeting, no, it's just my real butt. Thank you for your interest. But as anyone who follows you on Instagram knows, it's the abs that are the real star of the show. Can you give me some tips on how to get Adam Rip on ripped for summer? Leg raises, am I doing cable crunches, all the above? What do I need to do to get that eight pack? <sighs> Can I spit and Yeah, this? yeah, you wouldn't be the first one. It just felt like extra spit I didn't need. So I work on my core every single day. <laughs> this is honestly like terrible. Yeah, yeah. 
abs recover really quickly. They'll recover in a day, so you can work on them every single day. So I balance that in with cardio, get the blood flowing, do all of those crunches. You're doing leg lifts. You do a lot of stuff like overextending the abs and then bringing them up so that you can stretch them out. And then... How about those pesky lower abs? Because sometimes I can kind of frame it out up top. Right. It's just it doesn't snap together in the lower abs. I think one thing that might help if you weren't having so much fucking chicken. I'm not, my lips hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, like I can't help it. Like I can't keep spitting. <laughs> But I can't stop drooling. What did you even say? I'm like going into a blackout. Why? Who did this? This show is bullshit. <laughs> no. So we can't have an Adam Rippon interview without talking about your Twitter game, the clapbacks, the motivational messages that become the stuff of internet legend. When you're scrolling your Twitter mentions, what are the things that you see that warm your heart? And what are the things that you see that make you want to throw your phone under a Zamboni? Nice nod to the equipment. It's often um, not appreciated. I'm gonna tell you a few tips of the trade. The things that I love, there are some crazy talented fans that I have that put together fan art. I'm gonna just keep this very close yeah, to me. Yeah. It's just like the ens essence of um, a mother's milk. <laughs> um, I love when somebody is kind of sassy to me, but in a funny way where I can tell that they're just being fun. I love when people tweet at me and they say, thanks dad. I love that. I do get some hate on Twitter, that's true. But I don't respond to anything unless the person writing the tweet is just completely stupid. And I like to respond to like completely stupid. Does this count as cardio? Just the kind that gives you the top abs. Yeah, not those lower <laughs> those pesky hidden lower treasure. The, the, uh, the pesky lowers. Yeah. Not the pesky bottoms. I've. I've run into a few of them recently. This is the last dab. We call it the last dab because it's tradition around here. To put a little extra on the last wing, I just went berserk on that. Try to make a smaller dab than that, should you dare to do it. Very deliberate. Oh. Uh. All right. That's a pesky bottom. You call that a pesky bottom? Look at this pesky bottom. I've never <laughs> yeah, seen a bottom. Yeah, I've been staring at him so right the whole show. Whoa, whoa what the? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is like your work and you have to come back here. All right. Do you take a bite of that? That would be the point. Oh, that's why we did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. Cheers. All right. Cheers, Adam. Um, <laughs> I think I've lost control of like the upper half of my body. Okay, Adam Rippon, you've been an inspiration to many, and now that you have a trillion Scovilles going through you, I want to know, what's your message to the people who said that you couldn't slay on the biggest international stage, and to the people who didn't think that you'd take down the wings of death? To my haters that thought I wouldn't do this, to my doubters who thought that this wouldn't happen. There will be some naysayers. 
But fuck him, we did it. We did it, my man. I saw the Olympian in you. I saw the mind over matter. I saw the guy who would go in for extra bites, even when he was at his edge. And now look at you with a glow, with a shine. It's like the podium all over again. And now there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you, my friend. This camera, this camera, or this camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. You guys. Come to Stars on Ice. Go to starsonice.com. We're coming to 22 cities. Find out one that's near you. Also, you can go to justgiving.com slash Adam Rapon and give to my GLAD initiative. I'm working with their youth ambassador program. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's really fun. Good job, Adam. Thank you. Good job, Adam. It was good. You know, I didn't know that like this part of my face would hurt. The last three are novelty. Yeah. I'm floating. Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? It's Sean Evans checking in. If you enjoyed the video, do us a solid. Please subscribe. We're not above begging for clout over here. So you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button with a sledgehammer. Who appreciates you? Me.